So I'm looking for some um, some empty pots here, some flower pots, because I found a lot of raspberry runners, and I'm just going to take the runners and pot them up so that we have lots of raspberries that I can either sell or or even just put in the garden. So let's go outside and we'll pot up the raspberries. So just filling it up with some really good compost. This is all good compost and then we'll put the runners in. So I'm going to go get some rooting hormone. What I normally like to do is like I like to put a rooting powder, uh, dip the roots in it because that makes it a little bit easier for the for the roots to establish. And it's just a um, well I, I because it's an organic garden, so I just have a natural uh, rooting powder and I put it in a little pot. And I'll show you in a minute. I just dip the ends of the roots in it before popping it in soil. Okay, let's see. Let's take a nice one. This one, unfortunately, I already stepped on. Maybe we just take this one. Oh, there are there are two here, but let's take this one. So I go as deep as possible. And I try to take it from the from the mother root. As you see, there are nice root growths. So now this is a really long runner. I hope this is going to work. So I'm gonna just put the rooting powder and try to as gently as possible <laughs> doesn't work all the time just pop that in backfill it with some soil and hope and pray and ask it to grow which it will because plants they want to grow that is their nature so it's a really nice soil raspberry like sliced soil and this one is a little damaged already so I can just cut those off and as long as there is fresh growth coming this should be good okay so that's what I'm going to do throughout the patch as you see there are some going here that's actually the raspberry bush and it's spread that's what raspberries like to do I didn't contain the roots so yeah so then we do the same thing go as try to go as much as as deep as possible and just prise it out very very carefully and try to take as much of the root growth as I can at some point it's not gonna work but ah, now I do that Same thing, I'm just going to put a little bit of the rooting hormone on the ends. Try to make a hole. Put that in. Backfill it. And push it down. I'm going to, of course, give this all very good watering. That should be a beautiful plant. I think that I'm going to do is um, I'm going to take off some of the leaves so it doesn't transpire because we just transplanted these and and the more leaves you have the more um, it transpires because it's also quite hot now and it needs all the energy for root building and I don't want to have excessive leaf building so so what I'm going to do I'm just going to go on this one here and try to take off well definitely the the bigger leaves see the surface this is important the bigger the surface the more the plant is going to struggle in the beginning so because it has not formed and built its root so i'm going to go around and all of these nodes they are going there are going to be new growth so it should be should be okay i think so i'm just going to go and take off some of the big ones so the plant has a chance to actually grow. I'm going to leave these because obviously it needs some some leaves and 
do the same thing for this plant also for the rest and should be okay we have to see how the plant reacts to that but this is the growth season so I think no matter what what I do it's going to want to grow anyway so this one that one maybe this one and here the same thing that 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 maybe this one, this one as well mm, this one just maybe this two so and now I'm going to water them in very well and then we'll take a look at what happens in a couple of weeks this is the tulip negrita it's got this absolutely beautiful magenta color that I completely am in love with it's a very simple form so it would this would be the traditional tulip form that one would also find um, elsewhere <laughs> not one of the specialty varieties but I I'm, I'm truly truly in love with the with the color of this, this tulip. This is a parrot tulip and with the ruffled edges and it's uh, it's just a white one a white parrot and put against the against the evening sun this looks absolutely gorgeous and looks stunning in in bouquets. Well. This variety is called the tulip finola it's not a very high or a tall tulip but the flowers are completely stunning in fact they look a lot like peonies more like peonies than, than tulips and they have a slight fragrance to them so they are they are gorgeous in in bouquets as well so these are now opening up and as you can see they've got this very light pink touch to it it's mostly very creamy pink pastel -y, beautiful colors and then you have the green vein that runs down the back of the petals. These are the first tulips to bloom in my garden. This is the gypsy gold. It's it's a variety that's quite tall so can be used in taller bouquets or just put together just as a bunch without any foliage in a jar. They are also extremely gorgeous, very bright under the Mediterranean sun. Here I have an entire row planted of the tulip variety called Kansas Proud and there is one flower that I'm going to just show that to you because this is also an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous tulip so as you can see this whole row is filled with Kansas Proud and I can't wait for all of them to bloom and then use them in arrangements this is the anemone bed so I have um, the pastely anemone and as well as the decane the very common kind but as you see this is gorgeous as well it's got beautiful beautiful petals beautiful color very 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 pretty extremely pretty and i'm going to use them i'm going to pick some now and use them in a in a bouquet a nice arrangement together with the tulips